It's been four years, but now we get to return to Zelda. Mallory, do you remember Zelda? Um... It's a game about the boy who wears the green! <laughs> is his name Zelda? His name is Zelda! It's his legend! He carries an ocarina and he tells people the time! He travels from place to place telling them the time! That gets the premise of the game! Hello everyone! Um, before we get started, let me say a quick shout out and huge thank you to all of our Patreon supporters. All of the producers' names are scrolling at the bottom of the screen now. Thank you so, so much. If you're watching and you want to learn more about Patreon and how you can support Mal and myself and projects like these, uh, you can click on the link in the description box down below or the card that shows up on screen now. <laughs> with the nay. <laughs> showed up with the nay. Uh, and learn more about how you can help Mal and myself out and all the perks that come along with that. So, uh, yeah, it's been four years. It's been four years since we did, uh, since we started Twilight Princess. And it's funny because, like, we've done so many different games. We've done a variety of projects, a variety of genres on the channel. We have a very strict policy of doing whatever we want. And, um, it's not that we haven't wanted to do Zelda games. It's just that we've had a lot of other stuff that we've wanted to cover, so we have. Uh, but the... I, I would say that we've probably had monthly, if not weekly, requests to return to the Zelda franchise. Would you say that's right? Oh, yeah. I mean, people just have always said, you know, Twilight Princess was my favorite Let's Play of yours. Would you please do another Zelda game? And it, the answer was never no. The answer was, yeah, we'll get back to it. And it took, it took four years. But yeah, well, we got back to it. So today we are playing Ocarina of Time. Um, now, quick notes before we jump into this. Um, I have not played Ocarina of Time in a long time. A really long time. Uh, I got this game when it came out. This game debuted November 1998. I got it for Christmas that year. And, um, I mean, it's it's been a while since I touched the game. Mao, you've never played this. I played the beginning. You played the be We did an Extra Life stream where we played a little bit of the beginning. But otherwise I, I thought she I played it with Steph back in college, but maybe it was Extra Life. Um... But otherwise, that's that's her experience. So, whereas the Twilight Princess Let's Play was Mallory guiding me through a game she knew, this is going to be me guiding her through a game I know, even though, let's be honest, I don't remember anything ever, so it's going to be interesting. Mal, go ahead and press start. And we're going to jump into Ocarina of Time here. Uh, go ahead and... I guess we'll name him Link. That seems fine. Um, if you want to do all caps, that's what I prefer. Some people get little... Little... <laughs> Mallory says no. We're no. not we're not doing all caps. All right, fine. Don't do all caps. Um I'm excited about this. It's been a while since I played it. I've also never done a 100% run and we are doing a 100% run. We are going to get all of the Skulltullas. Um mostly because I've never done it and I really want to do it. Mal, you don't even know what that means, do you? Mm, I know what they are. They're oh, the really? spiders. Yes, there's 100 That's spiders. That's all I know. Where we're going to be killing a lot of spiders because we've gone into the extermination business. Mal, go ahead and put, uh, hit yes. I do want to say I do know Zelda is not Link. What are you we're talking? Have a Get comment. out! <laughs> Get out now! In the deep dark forest of Hyrule, long have I served as the guardian spirit. I am known as the Deku Tree. I'm going to give him a better voice. The children of the forest, the Kokiri, live here with me. Each Kokiri has his or her own guardian fairy. However, there is one boy who does not have a fairy. We don't like him very much. <laughs> or maybe they were short one fairy at the fairy mart. I'm sure there's going to be a few people curious about uh, what this is being played on. I'm going to address it now in episode one, so I don't get a million comments on it throughout the series. This is being played on the Wii Virtual Console. Yes, Wii. Not Wii U. The Wii. A few people asked about maybe doing it on the 3DS. Um, for a bunch of various reasons I won't go into here, we, we decided to do the N64 version instead. Uh, but we're doing it on the Wii because, for whatever reason, it looks better than the Wii U version. Wii U version messed up the colors. Navi, Navi, where art thou? 
Come hither. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, Navi the Fairy. Listen to my words. The words of the Deku Tree. Dost thou sense it? The climate of evil descending upon this realm. Malevolent forces, even now, are mustering to attack our land of Hyrule. For so long, the Kokiri Forest, the source of life, has stood as a barrier, deterring outsiders and maintaining the order of the world. But before this tremendous evil power, even my power is as nothing. It seems the time has come for the boy without a fairy to begin his <laughs> journey. The youth whose destiny it is to lead Hyrule to the path of justice and truth. Navi, <coughs> go now, find our young friend and guide him to me. I do not have much time left. Fly, Navi, fly. The fate of the forest, nay, the world depends upon thee. Or I fall. hate, I hate to see you go, but I love to watch you leave, Navi. Oh, you can really shake it, girl. Come back. Please tickle my mustache just a little bit more. Has no one questioned why a giant tree has a godforsaken mustache? This is a really weird world. So have you ever you've seen this part? Yeah. Navi leaves the Deku tree, which I'm pronouncing it Deku, by the way, as um, <laughs> as an olive branch to the fans. Because as a kid, I always pronounced it Deku, uh, the great Deku, like the great Deku tree. That's what I always said. And then after I learned that people pronounce it differently, I've started pronouncing it differently. <laughs> Mal, why don't you do the voice of Navi? Hello! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that. Just do that. Read those lines. Hello! Link, wake up! <laughs> the great Deku Tree <laughs> wants to talk to you! Link, get up! <laughs> Link, get up! <laughs> ah. hey. hey! Come on! Can Hyrule's destiny really depend on such a lazy boy? Now, I'll be doing all the lines for Link. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Such a nice boy. You finally woke up! I'm Navi, the fairy! <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Navi... <laughs> Navi suddenly had some chain smoker coming out of her. <laughs> <laughs> the rest of the Let's Play is just going to be me laughing and crying. The great Deku tree asked me to be your partner from now on. Nice to meet you. So you said Deku. I know. You got me all messed up now. The great Deku tree has summoned you. So let's... I forgot I hit the button too fast. Mallory's in control. Um, okay, so for the record, Mallory is starting off this episode. That means that all of the odd-numbered episodes are going to be controlled by Mallory. All of the even-numbered uh, episodes are going to be controlled by me. Since Mal's never played this, this is the same setup that we used for Twilight Princess. It works pretty well. Yeah. We're, we're off to a really, really good start. Sure, Mal. So this does this. Oh, yeah, you're, like, learning controls. Okay. Also, I love how the background is just a flat image. You're just a, a model walking around a flat image. But yeah, it works. Yeah, it works. Do you do you even know where the door is? Yes. I didn't know if you could tell. Oh, I did play this in Left 4 Dead. Oh my god. Mallory's experience of Ocarina of Time, one of the greatest games of all time, was in Left 4 Dead 2. Yahoo! <laughs> Hi, Link! <laughs> <laughs> we. <laughs> I would hope you kept laughing. <laughs> well, you never hit the button. <laughs> what was I supposed to do? Look at this graffiti. Yeah, who did that? How dare they? You can you can talk to folks. 
<laughs> wow! <laughs> a fairy! <laughs> Finally, a fairy <laughs> came to you, Link! <laughs> Wee! <laughs> wow, that's really great news! I'm really happy for you! <laughs> now you're a true Kokiri, Link! <laughs> Aha! Uh -huh. Is that right? <laughs> the great Deku Tree has summoned you? It's quite an honor to talk to the great Deku Tree! <laughs> How does she know? <laughs> I'll wait for you here! Get going! You go see the great Deku Tree! <laughs> uh, so, you live in Kokiri Forest, and the, the, yeah. premise, the premise here is like, on the outskirts of town is this big tree that like, takes care of you. Also, you're all children. So explain the creepiness of that. I don't know. I'm pretty sure that the Kokiri, like, can't age, so whatever. He picked up a rock. You broke a rock. You're gonna want to grab that rupee. Because you, <laughs> in order to progress, you're actually gonna need 40 rupees. Oh, can't I just walk through here? <laughs> oh, 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 Mallory. Oh, Mallory. <laughs> you're not allowed to leave the forest. <laughs> The great Deku tree said that if a Kokiri leaves the woods, he or she will die. And that's a little that's a little preposterous, but also kind of true. That's Navi. Yeah. The great Deku tree has summoned you. Please come with me. I like how Navi wants you to come with her, but she doesn't give you any instructions on where to go or what to do. It's so, um, a really great time. You probably want me to tell you what to he do. He blocks you. Uh, yeah. What a jerk! Well, the, the premise, like, from a gameplay perspective, is that if you left now, you wouldn't have a sword or a shield, and you would have no way to attack enemies, and Couldn't you would lose the game. Couldn't they just say you need to be able to protect yourself? No, because you have to see the Deku Tree first. Isn't he in there? No, that's that's the way to the rest of the world. Oh. There's another thing that goes the other way. Should I talk to you? Ooh, a fairy finally came to you. Well, now you have a lot to learn. <laughs> the best place to go to learn some new skills is in the Forest Training Center. It's on the hill just above here. <laughs> the groaning. Well, Mal, doesn't it start like this in um, Twilight Princess? You can go to the Know-It-All Brothers. Like, mm. I mean, I remember, like, it's been a while since I played Twilight Princess, but I remember that you have to, like... Do a bunch of crap first. Yeah. I could teach you about the icons at the top of the screen. I would I would just Okay. Oh god! Now said I'ma skip that. Oh, do you want to know how to use the uh C up button? Oh well, if you play around with it, you you figure it out. Yeah, I did already. You jostle me. Don't jostle me, Link. You're gonna want to throw those pots. There you go. <laughs> Professional pot destroyer. I'm okay. assuming, I'm assuming that had no money in it. If you just throw it at the wall, yeah. A single one. Hooray. Yeah. You can leave. There's nothing in here. What you're gonna need to do, um, I'm gonna try and advise you to keep to keep this let's play from being a hundred episodes or a thousand episodes. Uh, what you're gonna need to do is you need to get your sword and your shield, and the sword you have to go through that maze. So follow that, and uh, you'll find a little area which will uh, get you to the sword. And that's the first part, but you're also going to need to get, um, uh, a shield. Okay, so those are rocks you can't pick up. They're strictly so you can practice Z-targeting. So if you press, um, since we're playing the Wii Virtual Console, if you hold L, you did it. Congratulations. Hey, let's work on some moves. To jump sideways while Z-targeting, you need to just press A while you move left or got right. Got it. Got, yeah. You do a backflip. Yeah. yeah. Hey, have you ever played Twilight Princess? It's going to come out in like 10 years. It's going to be great. You're going to really like it. It's going to remind you a lot of Ocarina of Time. Yeah, okay. If you hit the other button and like hold it, it should z zoom through all dialogue. Z-target. Yep. Yep. No. No. Yeah, if you, if you Z-target something and then you start hitting A, like, you check it. Okay, so... I'm pretty sure I just saw Link's head turn, like, completely 90 degrees. So turn around, you need to go through that hole. If you press... Yeah, if you press Z, you also send the camera behind you. So walk up to the hole, and then you see that the A prompt is enter. So then you go into first person. I'm pretty sure you're only in first person when you're in holes like this. And then you crawl through the other side. There you go. Sweet. Yep. 
Okay, and it's telling you that you can use Z-targeting to basically make sure that you're looking the right direction and things like that. Once again, you want to get that money because you do have to get to uh, you do have to get to 40. No, that's a that's a big old turnip bush. You can't pull that up. Who are you trying to pull? All right, so follow after that thing. Okay, and then swing a right up here. Bada bing, bada boom, baby. You just got yourself a sword. Sounds like any of the Kokiri could go get a sword. Yeah, you know, it is actually kind of strange. I feel like anyone could be the hero of time. Like, they just have no to. No one's to go ever get it. gone through this maze. <laughs> well, what's funny is that they have it labeled. They're like, oh, that's the training center. But none of us want to train. This is a hidden treasure, even though it's not. But you can borrow it for a while. Be sure to practice with it before you really fight. So it said I had to add it? Um, I think it just starts working once you get out there. Ah! That was good. That was really good. Yeah, thing for was quick. For whatever reason, there's Gorons just rolling around in here. Just, I'm just kidding. Those are boulders. Yeah. But there's there's parts of the game where those are going to be Gorons. It's cool because even though you haven't played this game, you're going to be familiar with pretty much every single thing because you played Twilight but Princess. But it said I had to equip it. Maybe you do. Press start, which is going to be plus. Yeah. And then uh, scroll over. Yeah, just press yeah R again. R again. R. No. Just, oh. Uh, yes. Thank God. R. Yes. Yes. Jesus. Yes. And then press. There you go. So you do have to equip it, and then it's like uh, a press. Toothpick. It is a toothpick. Then press start again. There you go. Now you can cut stuff. Also, I'm pretty sure you can never unequip the sword, so uh, get used to the way that looks. Cause you're never getting rid of it. Go ahead and chop some of the grass down because you need to find some more money. Because you only have half of what you need to get to the Deku tree. You can also chop signs. If you chop signs, I'm pretty sure you can't read them anymore. So hopefully you didn't want to read the sign because nope. you can't. It's cool that even like the sign pieces kind of go off in random directions and they'll even land um, on like the other stuff. So just kind of continue to wander around and explore. Uh, this is, I mean, this is good for you. This is the first time you're really ever playing Ocarina of Time. There's a few places in the village where you can find higher value uh, rupees as well. Oh, you have a fairy now. Well, that's great, Link. What? You've been called by the Great Deku Tree. Whoa, with an honor. Well, he may give you a special gift, Tihi. That's because the Great Deku Tree is our father, the Forest Guardian, and he gave life to all of us Kokiri. Whoa, she's getting angry. <laughs> Wrap your mind around that, Link. We were born from a tree. <laughs> His mustache tickled while we were on our way out of his giant trunk. Hi, Link, look this way. Look uh. over here with Z and talk to me with A. Oh, uh, yes, yes, that's how you use a fairy. That's See, the, it, that's all they're good for. See, the fairy is like the idea behind Z targeting. Yeah. It's so great that you finally have a fairy partner. I'll teach you how to talk to people using your fairy. Okay, so if you just hold down the B button, you should be able to fly through all this dialogue because it's not important. It's that, right? Yes, you did it. So, like, you know how to play the game. Yeah. And that's good. You can, I mean, you can talk to her if you want. I don't remember what these people say. It's been a million years. This, this shop <laughs> sells things you can get into the forest for free. <laughs> wow. Gee, oh, shoot. That was the wrong button. Well, shoot, whatever it is, you can equip it and hold it with R and change its angle. She with had the a million stick. things to say, so it's a good thing you didn't do that. Also, I think it's funny that there's someone who's Oops. standing inside the shop telling you not to buy things because you can just wander into the forest and get them for free. That's a little bizarre. <laughs> that meanie Mido made me cut the grass at Soraya's house. Mido told Soraya he would do it so she would like him, but I'm the one doing all the work. You and Soraya are close friends, so will you help me cut the grass? I'll let you keep anything that you find while cutting it. I say Soraya, some people say Saria. Saria is probably right. Um, when I was a kid, I just read it as Sarah. She was always just Sarah to me. But I realize now that that, that doesn't make sense. Soraya, Soriasis, whatever, it doesn't matter. Uh, continue to look around, there's um... If you go up that little ramp there, to your right, to your right. This one? Yeah. Be careful not to fall because you ain't gonna catch yourself. Um, 
There should be some money up here somewhere. Careful, careful. I gotta careful. cross this. Okay. Oh my god. And uh... so it begins. And so it begins. A lot an entire let's play worth of struggles as uh we <laughs> get okay. used to N64 controls. Yeah, I mean if you if you if you do, 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 do. There you go, just bow, 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 bow. slow it down, slow it down. Now turn to the left and Z target. Yeah, I was gonna. That's wow, that was that wow, these are great great things. Okay, there you and there and Okay. Give me your money. <laughs> hey Mao. <coughs> you just got a blue rupee! <sighs> you knew that would happen. Yes. Oh, you came all the way up here? You're a real man! <laughs> I've been stranded for months! <laughs> Yeah, she's telling you you can use everything in this area is going to be tutorial. Now you have 29, you need to get 11 more rupees. So you can like throw rocks, you can run through grass, you can cut grass. You can't cut that grass. If you can I just if, keep running? I mean, it, they, they stop. Ugh. They don't respawn. I mean, it, it might reset if you go in and out of houses, I don't know. But you have to you have to come up with the money so you can proceed. Some of the, There might be stuff inside the houses too for like pots and stuff like that. You can't ch you can't get the the thing that he's doing. Where are you going? Looking for money. Behind the houses? Maybe. Okay. I'm trying to. I'm really. I understand that the pacing of this episode, this first episode, is going to be slow, and I understand. And I just want everyone to kind of be patient, um, f with for Mao because she is experiencing this game for the first time, and w things will begin to. to There's speed nothing up. in here. There's nothing in. I'm sorry. Ooh. Try the other house. Yeah, it it comes back. The grass grows very quickly in Kokiri. It's because there's a mustache tree that's feeding it energy. So you can't use your sword inside of houses. Oh, there's a money. Okay, you got one of the monies. Oh my god. There you go. Is there a money? There's not a money. Oh, there's a money. Oh, there was a blue one. Alright, Mal. Three more rupees. That's it. Should I talk to her? Sure. <laughs> My sister took some rupees and went shopping at the store that has a red roof, teehee. Speaking of rupees, a green one is worth one, oh and a my blue God. one is worth five, and a red one is worth twenty, Oh hee my hee. God. And a silver one's worth fifty, and a gold one's worth a hundred, and a... <laughs> <laughs> I like to imagine she's just talking and I left. Like you're walking out the door and she's still there, and a blue one's worth this, and a blue... Okay, oh, this um, is my house. That's your house. So there's probably nothing in there. Oh my god. You just need three. Just go throw some rocks. <laughs> Run through that grass again. Like, seriously, you, you're almost there. Oh my god. Two more. Jesus, please help me. Just get get me through. Get me through this. <laughs> and I'll be, I'll be set. One more. Oh my god. Oh my god. Go throw a rock. Just throw a rock. Just throw a rock. That kid's humping the rock. Just keep throwing rocks until you get... Oh my god, none of them have... Uh... There, 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 there. Oh, sweet lord Jesus. Okay. Oh, I can go up there. Oh my god. Alright, so now you're gonna go, want to go back to that shop. <laughs> there is okay. no more money. You have Red all the roof. Money. Yeah, so... Yeah, there. there you go. Hop, skip, and jump across that thing. You're doing good. You're doing good. You got oh, five yeah, for five. just walking across. Don't awesome. ask me. Don't ask me why, because I don't know. All right. So talk to that guy. He uh, really should have built that counter lower. All right. So you're going to buy that shield. This. Oh my god. You know it will let you buy whatever, but I I am not gonna sit here and watch you <laughs> do all that over again. So you have the Deku shield. So now you have god. to equip yeah, it. Yeah, I know. Oh my god. So you can, you know, crouch and Z-target and do all sorts of stuff. Good job, Mao. Good job. You did good. Alright, so open up your... There you go. And equip the shield. You got it. And sure, you can save the game. <laughs> Alright, so now when you hold R, you will get your shield out. And if you, uh, if you Z-target... Um, you can walk and do it. There you go. Something you can even about the sign. Then destroy it. It deserves to die. You did it. All right, now you're going to want to walk that way, or swim that way. You're. 
You we're gonna make it there one day. One day, I believe in us. Alright. Now, if you would've talked to this guy sooner, he would've told you to, to stop. He would've said this, basically. Yeah. You should at least equip a sword and shield. What's that? Oh, well, you have a Deku shield. And what's La -da -da. that? <laughs> Is that the Kokiri sword? Good grief. It's been yeah. lost forever. Well, even with all that stuff, a wimp is still a wimp, huh? I, the great Mido, will never accept you as one of us. Whoa. Yeah, this guy hates Link. How did you get to be the favorite of Soraya and the great Deku tree? <laughs> come on, come on. <laughs> and then he waddles away. Good. All right, just be, just beware. You're going to have to fight stuff immediately. Oh, no. There you go. And you will get your first item of the game. A, a stick. A Deku stick. On the select item subscreen, you can set it to a C button and then use the C button, which in this case is the second analog stick of Why the Wii would Classic I controller. Why swing with a sword? Or a stick when I have a sword? Uh, I'll get to that next episode. I will I will teach you the ways. But you're going to need a stick for other things. Yeah, um, lighting fires. Correct. Yeah, you, there's, there's, it's multi-purpose. But I think that it could surprise you. I made it. You did it, Mal. That's you. Oh, uh, great Deku Tree, I'm back! Mmm. Get closer. Shake it like I know you can. Oh, Navi! Thou hast returned. Link, welcome. Listen carefully to what I, the Deku Tree, am about to tell thee. Thy slumber these past moons must have been restless and full of nightmares. As the servants of evil gain strength, a vile climate pervades the land and causes nightmares to those sensitive to it. Verily, thou hast felt it. Link, the time has come to test thy courage. I have been cursed. I need you to break the curse with your wisdom and courage. Dost thou have courage? No. Oh! Well, perhaps you do not yet have confidence in your ability, <laughs> so you return to the Kukiri Forest to learn the skills of combat. <laughs> when thou art ready, you return here and speak with me by using Z. Now, that is the end of your episode. I really wanted to see <laughs> Uh, that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, next episode, I'm in charge, and uh, I will actually be <laughs> telling <laughs> the, the tree that, yeah, I'm I'm ready, man. Herp Skirp Lonk is ready for action, and I'm going to be taking him inside that tree, touching that fuzzy mustache, and getting some stuff, uh, some stuff done. Thanks so much for watching. Join us next time for more Steven and Mao play The Legend of Zelda, Ocarina of Time.